Welcome back to SWAT Cops and the Winter Challenge. And of course, always at the Extreme Festival. Great entertainment both on and off, with Young Blood Racing coming out just before the Motormart Volkswagen Challenge. Nice big field and a strong field. They're getting stronger and stronger every time we go racing. Mo Dango was chatting to me just before the race saying how important it is for the sponsors to have such a strong field of cars and get the exposure that they're getting. Incredible stuff at the front end of Class A and we've seen some epic battles, but Class B is also seeing a lot of chopping and changing. In Class C, a couple of new contenders coming to join us as well as we head out now for the first race of the day for Motormart Volkswagen Challenge. There's a man who's looking fired up. Lyle Ramsey has just got better and better in that Munro car. We go on board with Mo, who's had a fantastic qualifying, as you can see, and sits here on the second row. Drops off the line and heads down towards turn one. It looks like Rory Atkinson might just have to slot in behind Lyle Ramsey, and Mo's going to go right behind Voldy Mikeys as they go in there. Behind him, JP van der Volk getting a fantastic start. This is Class B now. Good start from Jacques Smith in Class B. Then it's Junior and Senior with Fancel. Looks like a little bit of problems there for Senior getting off the line as they head down there. Junior getting mugged as they go into turn one, though. He's side by side, and how oh, close is that? Van der Mava, that's Charisse van der Mava, one of our lady drivers who's made a step up into the Volkswagen Challenge for her first season and already mixing it up with the usual contenders. Foreign Basha just losing out in Class C as they get down into turn two, and it's van der Mava who leads things out. Behind that, Gossman lines up, and then it's the cops. Oh man, the taxpayers' money's been well spent there at the back end of the field. At the front end, though, of Class A, it's all about Lyle Ramsey. He's got big pressure coming from Rory Atkinson and Valdi Mikey's there in third place, just trying to bridge that gap. You can see just how hard they're pushing. And that's a fantastic start from Mo Dangor as well in fourth place, with JP van der Valt, Bevan Masters, and Verilini tucked in behind them. They go through to complete the first lap, and Mo is up into the top four. One of the best starts we've seen out of him. Ferrellini running a little bit wide. Oh, speaking of running wide, a couple of cars getting out of shape and touching each other as well. A little bit of action at the back end. A little bit of sliding out of there, and the Class B's just avoiding all that action as they come through there. There's just cars everywhere. Polos park left, right, and center. Eric Gander's involved there as well. You can see Ricardo de Silva going side by side with Pit Potkits as they're going to turn one. Closing in on the back here, looking for a way through. I think that's Chris Dale just ahead. Yes, it is. Dale, one of the cars involved in that incident. You can see a little bit of damage on the back end of Dale's car. Let's have a look at it from another point of view here. There you can see cars sliding. Gander was one of them that got out of shape. Then Dale is the inside car here, the red and white one. And they've all got through. Fortunately, no need for a safety car. All the cars getting going again. A little bit of issues here for Holiday Senior. He's not quite firing like he was. He's there with Furchie now and fighting hard as they head up to the top of the hill. Trying to close down on Jacques Smith. And unfortunately, Jacques Smith way behind Steon Krill. He's got to the front end now and is disappearing for Class B. Senior diving through on the dirt nurse car, trying to find a way past. Can he make it stick? No, he can't. And then just behind him, pushing hard, is Stuart Mack. Stuart Mack applying massive pressure onto the back end of, of Holiday Senior, and now diving on the inside into GNH Transport Corner. Francois Vincel coming back at it, and along with him comes Junior. So we're going to have a five way battle here for second place in Class B's. And that's exactly what you see. Now in Class C, two way battle for the lead. Foreign Basha trying to make up some ground. The Monotronics man trying to find a way back on Darby Funamava. Funamava holding him off for now. Funamava's good at the circuit, though, so he's definitely going to be a man to watch out for. And uh, pushing just ahead there, of course, of Andy Gossman, who sits in third. They're closing in on the back end of Class B, though. There is Eric Gann on the side. Whoa, that's a massive moment there. A big issue between the Class B contenders and sliding right next to where the marshals were attending to Eric Gander. Ryan Essop is one of them by the looks of things, and he's parked on the sideline here on the inside of Volkswagen Corner. Back on board with Mo Dangle, and he's now in the thick of it in Class A. Really getting to feel what it's like to fight at the front end of Class A and just putting it all together. That looks like Steon Krill having a problem there on the sideline. They're going past Class B's Krill, who's unfortunately fallen away from the front end, which is going to give Jacques Smith an opportunity to win Class B as Class A heads down into turn one. Valdi Mike is closing in on the back end of Atkinson. Rory Atkinson doing the same thing to Raul Ramsey. So Raul Ramsey now trying to defend, defend, defend right to the checkered flag, and there's not a lot of time left. As they get up onto that back straight away now, a big move there from Bevan Masters too. He has the Class B lead battle. And oh, Holiday runs wide. That senior onto the dirty stuff, getting it all out of shape. He'll be able to get back on track, I'm sure, but it is not what he wanted down into turn two when he was attempting to go around the outside and find a way past Jacques Smith. Jacques Smith, then you've got Stuart Mack, Junior on the inside now, looking for a chance and up to second. Great drive there. Good recovery from him as well. The monitor net car getting up on the inside of Stuart Mack and Francois Van Sale now looking for a chance to spoil their day. Lyle Ramsey coming to the line. Great drive. 
Almost flag to flag. In fact, it is flag to flag. The flag is out. And Ramsey takes the win ahead of Atkinson. He'll be happy with that. Smith takes it ahead of Junior and Mack with Franz Hansel there in third. And in Class C, it's still on. Oh, big problems at the top of the hill. Basha and Funamova have come together. Who's going to get out the dirty stuff quickest? It's Davi Funamova. They've got a big enough lead over third place to get back on track and should be able to still finish first and second in Class C. But you can see just how hard Farhan Basha was pushing. He forced a mistake. The two of them got together. And he's very lucky to survive that. So is Davi Fanamava. He got back on track. He wasn't holding anything back to get there. There's Farhan in the back with a couple of bits and pieces stuck to his car. But Class C finishes up with some big, big issues. Look at the front end of that car and look at the wheels. Towed out completely. Confirmation of the results there. Ramsey taking it ahead of Atkinson and Mikey's with Bevan Masters beating Mo Dangle, JP van der Vault and Ronaldo Verolini and Mike B down in eighth place for Class A. In Class B and C, we had some great dices as well. Eventual results going, though, in Class B to Jacques Smith, ahead of Dion Holiday, Stuart Mack, Franz Offensal, Charisse van Amerva, top five for her, ahead of Holiday Senior. In Class C's, we saw that epic finish between Darby van Amerva and Foreign Basha. Let's catch up with Class B winner, Jacques Smith in the Dirt Nose Polo. It was a great race. Uh, it was clean, there was no bumping uh, on my side. And uh, yes, yeah, amazing. Great result for the team. Uh, thank you to all my sponsors, Dirt Nurse, Triplicon, thank you to Valdu and everybody that's put all the hard work in. This really vindicates that. So yeah, thank you, Motor Mart, uh, challenge everyone. Thanks, cheers. One of the luckiest victors for the day was Class C's Davi van der Had a good start, um, managed to dive near late dive on on the last, luckily on the last uh, lap. Managed to finish with a bandit suspension and uh, steering, so yeah, happy for the results, but I had a, have a lot of work to finish on the car now. Yeah, there's a couple of cars that are gonna have to be sorted out in between the two heats of racing here for Motormart Volkswagen Challenge. A couple of bumpers need replacing, maybe some radiators. I see some tightening being done on some of those cars as well. But we're in for another great race, and this is what happens with Motormart. They really hold nothing back, and they put on a fantastic show when they get out on the black stuff. Race two action about to come your way now. Will Lyle Ramsey be able to do a double on the day? Can Francois Fonsel do anything about Jacques Smith or possibly Stuart Mack taking a double? And they're all trying to close down on Steon Creel. At the front end though, Class A about to get off the line. As those lights go out, we'll go racing. And you can see just how epic, and look at the tension. It's on the grid, it's absolutely brilliant. As they head down towards turn one now. Bevan Masters on the inside. Looks like he might get the whole shot. Around the outside comes Lyle Ramsey though, looking to steal it away from him. He tucks in behind Bevan Masters, and it's Junior who gets a good start off the line. But Franz Ovensal, a much better start from him. Stuart Mack goes with Franz Ovensal with Class B as they go into turn one. Great start there, but Steon Krill, where did he come from? Where did he find that pace? He gets up, and this is a turnaround. Remember, he didn't quite have the start he wanted, or the finish he wanted, I should say, in the first race. They go down into turn number two now. Class C has got there as well, Farhan Basha, this time ahead of Darby Funamava. So he's going to watch Funamava now behind him the whole race and try and keep him there. Elna Cruz on the inside of Gossman, and right at the back there, you can see Rainer van Hiden pushing hard in the police car. The front, though, a change up. It's Lyle Ramsey who's taken the lead again and not looking to control it from the front with Atkinson on his tail. Back on board with Dangle behind Mike B. Mike Bavaglia having a super start, much better start from him this time as he comes down into the final corner with the Motormart car on his tail. JP van der Valt has found a way through there in the JRT Platinum Wheels car to get ahead of Valdi Meinkies for third place. And behind them, they all start to line up. Coming down on the brakes now, this is Class B, Stuart Mack under pressure from Jacques Smith. They're all trying to close down on the top two, have got away ever so slightly there. Smith realizes that he cannot fight behind Stuart Mack too hard because it's going to give Stian Creel and Franz of Ansel a chance to get away. It's Junior and Senior just behind there, and Senior the lead car of those two as they came down into turn one. There he goes, and behind that you can see just starting to line up there, you've got Charisse van der Merwe tucking in as the meat in the sandwich between the two holidays. Down on the braking markers now, Farhan Basha under a bit of pressure. You can see looking for a chance to just avoid the pressure that's being applied there by Gossman. Has Van Amerva hit the front? I think he has. Yes, he has. Darby's got through in Class C as we go back to the battle here in Class A between Mike Babaglia and Mo Dangle. Behind them, Bevan Masters waiting to pick up the pieces if something goes wrong. Little tap on the inside. Oh, this could be Mo's chance to get through. He's got that inside line, but of course it becomes the outside for turn seven, Mix FM. He runs wide. Mo puts a wheel on the dirt, but he's got through and he, listen to the revs, revving that polo beyond its life. Great stuff there from Mo Dangle as they came through turn seven, Mix FM corner. 
a little bit of issues in the background. Somebody putting a wheel on the dirt pile that looks at things. And now as they go through turn one, it is Valdi Mike. He's trying to get through on JP van der Waal. JP van der Waal hanging on for third place right now. Trying to close down on Atkinson and Ramsey. They've opened up a little bit of a margin. I don't think it's going to be easy when you're going to have to go defensive so much to close down on the top two. Here's a move from Stuart back on Jacques Smith. Behind France off itself. This is Class B. Second place in the Class Bs right now. And they're all trying to catch Dion Krill, who's disappeared at the front end. Look at the gap he's got. He's pulled a massive advantage. He's actually closing in on the back end of Class A. So Dion Krill in the Motomart car doing a magic job and a massive turnaround for him after race one's disappointment. This is Robbie De Silva in the second of the Motomart cars into Volkswagen corner. Gets up onto the apex, defending at this stage and pushing as hard as he can. Because remember, he's going to have to just maintain a good top five finish, if he can, to stay in the hunt for Class B. France of Vincel is moving himself up into that Class B contention for championship. There's no doubt about it with good results at Pekisa and once again here today at Swatkops. This is Class C now with Class A on their tail. And Class A, Lyle Ramsey, needs to find a way through urgently. He goes up on the inside. Gosman's on the inside. Oh, problems. Is that Basha? Basha's got it out of shape. Basha locks up, trying to put too much pressure onto the leader there, Davi Funamava, and that's allowed Lyle Ramsey a little bit of a cleaner run. Behind him comes Atkinson. The blue flags are waving frantically, and they're onto the final lap. So Class C leaders have just been passed by Class A. Here comes second place for Class B, and this time Smith dives on the inside into Volkswagen corner. Little tap between himself and Franz Ovensal. Vonsal goes off, so does Smith. That is going to be absolutely perfect for the man who was right there with him. And diving up the inside, Stuart Max says, thanks very much, I'll stay out of trouble and take second. The lead for Class A and the win. A double win, in fact, for the Monroe car. Great drive from Lyle Ramsey. He's stoked with that one. And Atkinson comes through for second. First place is Darby Funamova in Class C with Gossman behind him. They were right behind the Class A contenders. And Class B goes to Steon Krill. A massive advantage for Krill there in Class B. Confirmation of Class A, though. It is Ramsey ahead of Atkinson. JP van der Waal kept monkeys out for three and four. Masters in five ahead of Verilini, then Dangle and Andrea Ferci. In Class B's, this time it was Steon Creel at the top ahead of Stuart Max. Jacques Smith had to settle for third place. Cherise van der Merwe getting a fourth place. Her best finish ever, beating out Holiday Junior and Francois Fonsale. In Class C, it was Darby van der Merwe yet again at the front. This time, Andy Gossman in second place. Let's catch up with Lyle Ramsey after a great day and a double victory. I can't really count it on even in years. I'm just so thankful for what has happened today. And my team, we've put so much effort into this. And I really have to thank you guys. You guys pushed me on when I wanted to stop. And uh, we've broken the bad luck spell. Let's carry on. Some small bad luck for Dion Holiday Jr. this weekend. Yeah, a bit of homework to do on the start. Um, we've got a bit of a clutch issue, so it doesn't help. Um, and also you can't pass because everyone is just doing the same time. So it's rough, but it's a great class to be in. Um, thanks to my sponsors, Monitornet, Saint Parts, Saint Works, Motomart, for everyone that makes it possible. Yeah, thank you. Another double win coming for Darvi Funamava in Class C. I managed to pass him in a few few first laps, but yeah, uh, very proud of the results. And yeah, thanks for Lee Thompson for preparing the race after the accident, so yeah. All this extreme festival of motorsport action is proudly brought to you by Car Care Clinic and Motormart Clock Store.